This is Charles. Charles is a surgeon. And this is Louise. She is a laboratory technician. Charles and Louise have both worked in the same hospital for over 20 years. But whether or not they will still be working there in 10 years is the question. Charles probably does not have to worry much. His knowledge and skills are still indispensable for the time being. Even if processes within his hospital are being further digitized. But for Louise it's different. The number of jobs in her department have fallen sharply in recent years. Processes are becoming increasingly automated and the work that remains requires fewer hands and different skills. Louise will have to go on a refresher course in order to keep her job, but she's not looking forward to that. She actually thinks she's too old to return to school. She has the feeling she no longer has any career opportunities and her income has been at the same level for years. In the meantime, she sees that the hospital is investing a lot of money in modern equipment that the salaries of surgeons are rising and that people like Charles do not have to worry about their retirement. All these developments increase Louise's feeling of dissatisfaction. This is also reflected in skepticism and mistrust of politics that she holds responsible for cost savings in healthcare. Recognizable, People such as Louise can also be found in other sectors that are dealing with the consequences of what we call ADAPT. Every letter in ADAPT represents a current worldwide development. These developments follow from megatrends. With the digital transformation of your organization or company, it's good to realize the consequences of these current developments.